Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about evaluation and management of patient with hemoptysis. Talking about the history, we need to describe the sputum, its color, which may be pink frothy in the cases of pulmonary edema, or may have clots. A massive hemoptysis is defined as more than 400 ml in 24 hour, or a single episode of more than 100 to 150 ml. If the hemoptysis is associated with fever, chill or antecedent cough, it may be suggestive of infection. If associated with smoking or weight loss, it may be suggestive of malignancy. Also, do not forget to ask about the exposure and the inhalants and occupational causes. On physical examination, look over the vital signs and specially look for tachycardia or tachypnea that may be a warning sign. Clubbing may be seen in bronchogenic carcinoma that is a common cause for hemoptysis. Signs of bleeding diathesis uh, to rule out the uh, uh, blood dyscariasis should be done. These include petechiae purpura, echimosis. Breathing pattern for any hyper, hypernia or apnea should be looked over. Auscultate the lung for any abnormal breathing sounds. Intervention must have three goals. The first one is to protect the non-bleeding lung. Second one to locate the site of bleeding and the third one to control the bleeding. To protect the non-bleeding lung, we take a gravitational advantage and make the patient lie on the side of bleeding so that the normal lung does not asphyxiate with the bleeding. The second thing we can do is to do a selective intubation or a double lumen intubation to prevent a normal lung from asphyxiation. To locate the site of bleeding, we can do a chest radiograph that may show PCT, but the diagnostic and therapeutic investigation is CT angiography. To control the bleeding, we have three measures. Either we can go through airway lumen, through involved blood vessel or through surgical resection of both airway and vessel involved. In the airway lumen, we do the suction of clot and we insert a balloon catheter in the place. To in the cases of blood vessel, we can do a bronchial artery embolization to prevent further hemoptysis. For the surgical resection of both airway and vessel involved, there is this is the last resort because it has a high mortality of 15 to 40 percent. So either go through airway and do suction and insert a balloon catheter and either go through blood vessel to embolize or do a surgical resection of both that is highly high that has high mortality. For the algorithm, look over this chart from the Harrison. So this is the chart. We A patient comes with hemoptysis. We do a history and physical examination, ruling out epistaxis and upper GI bleed. We quantify the amount of bleeding. Either it is non-massive or it is massive. In the cases of massive, we have to do a, a intervention quick. Uh, we need to protect the airway. Uh, if the protecting the airway by suctioning the clot and inserting a balloon catheter if the bleeding stops for now it is okay if bleeding does not uh, stops or bleeding continues we have to do either embolization or resection in the cases of non-massive bleeding we watch over uh, if the patient has a risk factor or no risk factor if the patient has no risk factor it is most commonly because of infective cause the hemoptysis so we need to treat the underlying disease that the patient has if the still the bleeding is persistent or the patient has risk factor in case of non-massive bleeding we do some investigation to rule out certain condition these include chest x-ray a complete blood count urine analysis creatine level uh, coagulation studies if these uh, tests come out to be normal uh, and if are non-significant we we'll look over the ct Bronchoscope is only done after CT scan comes out to be normal and we have no other details or we are still in confusion of the cause for hemoptysis. If after the bronchoscopy we treat the underlying cause and the bleeding is controlled, it is okay. But if still the bleeding is persistent, we will go in the line of massive hemoptysis uh, and we will do embolization and resection that uh, already discussed is a high mortality procedure. Thanks for watching.